Steve Post with Motor Racing Network here at the RE booth at PRI and Brian Carter, the CEO of the World Racing Group, Court World Racing Group, one of the partners of Racing Electronics. Brian, kind enough to stop by. Hello, Brian. Always good to catch up with you here in Indianapolis in December. Yeah, it is uh, nonstop today here on the floor here in the show. It's uh, great, great for us and can socialize with all of our partners and uh, hang out with all of our race fans and racers. So. Big picture, what's the vibe like? What's the what's the energy like in the sport? Because you probably have more touch points to the, to the roots of the sport, the dirt track side than anybody what's the vibe like overall the vibe is good i mean the sports uh, growing uh, there's a uh, there's a uh, you know there's great pockets and there's good pockets and there's pockets that are struggling but that's that's normal course in everything we do so the vibe is good for us we've got we just this morning announced the three the last three of our big calendars so the summer nationals the the uh, super dirt car series and we announced our expansion of the extreme midget program got some great sponsors coming on on those programs we'll be announcing either later this week or early next week you know how those go a little bit uh, so uh, lots of great exciting things happening Happening. So we're just pulling everything together. Last night we announced our uh, uh, how we're uh, paying the late model program. So uh, and later on this week we'll be announcing how we're going to work on the platinum agreements and the point funds and bonus monies for the sprint cars. So it's all all great vibe for me. So uh, nonstop. Lots and lots good, that's for sure. I actually, uh, I'm, I'm going to go in inverse order because a year ago you announced the Extreme Midget Series, the unveiling of that. Uh, year number one, how did that go? Obviously, you're back again with the 30 race schedule for year number two. Just kind of what's that been like as you guys have launched that project? You know, it's good. It reminds us how, you know, we, uh, we've we done a lot of promotions and a lot of series races, and the Midgets, they need uh, their program too. So uh, it's been good. And working with the sanctioned bodies and, and fitting in with everything that's already there, uh, we've been able to do that last year and, and very successfully work in 30 program, 30 race program this year. So, or for for 2023. So it's uh, it's got its challenges. You know, all forms of racing have their challenges, and uh, for us, it's trying to be additive and, and address those as we go. And and it did a great and a lot of demand for those races and a lot of demand for you know the racers and then the sponsors have responded too. So it's a full package uh, with uh, bringing them on TV, bringing the sponsors in, getting races, bringing race fans out. That's great stuff. So. One, of, one of the other programs you said you just announced is the Hell Tour, the the or the UMP Summer Nationals. What is that like? Is that is there is is there, is there boundaries? Is there borders? How do you how do you put that together? Because I've watched that from afar. I, I, part of me would love to do it. Part of me says I would never want to do it. How does that all come together? How does that work? Well, let's be clear. I don't put that together. That's uh, I've got a team that does that. Sam's done a great job. You know, the hard part there is holding it back. You know, we've gone from a four week program. We did a six week program. We're back kind of closer to the original program. It's a lot. Of racing, but we could have a summer nationals, a fall nationals, and a, and a uh, spring nationals too. We got so much demand for those races. They're they're so much fun and good for the promoters and good for the racers. Uh, lo, you know, really strong regional program, which are critical to the whole infrastructure. So Sam does a great job. The racetracks uh, we've got great racetrack partners. Uh, I think it was 29 nights over 33 days. So that's a lot of that's a hell tour. I mean, that's what that is. So <laughs> it's got it's such it's got such a great series, has such a great personality, and such a great following, and it's. It's great for us to be able to do that on a regional basis and, and keep true to what the, the roots of that is, have been and, and how and evolve it just enough to make sure that we're uh, relevant that you know this year and for the future but also keeping to our roots and sam does a great job yeah, i could not do sam's job <laughs> yeah, getting that a unique way of doing it but i could not do <laughs> sam's job so. getting that balance um you know my background is the dirt modifies the super dirt car series and i actually I shared with you you were in wing nation in studio i actually went to a race at land of legends raceway in new york state how are things how you, you announced the schedule today everything good in modified land yeah no it's uh, it's settling uh, you know there it's uh it's a uh, there's a lot of racing in new york and, and a lot of of, uh, a lot of big races so you know we want to make sure that it all fits and yeah Paul and the guys at uh, Land of Legends do a great job I'm glad you got to get up there we got another big uh, you know we did summer fast that'll be another summer fast leading into uh, the race there at Watkins Glen so uh, lots of lots of good stuff happening in New York too the modifieds we had su Super Dirt Week 50 so a lot of momentum there uh, great racing at Oswego this year we're, 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 we're four for six you know the racetrack is a little fickle but we had a great year again and uh, and we and then we, we, we all want the same thing so Modified racing and up there, the the tracks, you know, it's uh, there's a lot of racing, so you have to manage that in and growth in that is can be disruptive and just going to keep managing through, managing through it. So, uh, the modified racing is great. There's a modified here, the Super Dirt Week 50th Trophy, which is spectacular, is here in the floor. So, uh, if you if you're on the showroom floor, you should see that because it's it's a one of a kind. So it's it's modified racing is good, and uh, again balancing in all of those tracks that are trying to make this work weekly with a big series and in a very small geography, it takes a lot of balancing to get that right. 
that's what I always love about it is the weekly racing aspect of it plus the tour as well. All right, let's keep moving forward as far as that goes. The the World of Outlaw case uh, construction, case equipment, uh, late model tour. Um, 50 races, you just announced that schedule here recently and you did announce some new purse structure. We all understand the late model world has become the wild, wild west. We get that. There's all kinds of people running all kinds of races. So so you, you, you put this together and what's the reaction been at this point? It's been good. Uh, we we uh, sent out 18 uh, platinum agreements yesterday so to teams that have requested to come run with us. So we, 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 we decided in the middle of this past year to stick to what we're good at, uh, promote big shows, uh, not try to get to be larger than we need to be, uh, actually cut back some of the shows, uh, and, and, and really focus on two or three big weekends a year that, that makes sense for the racers and the tracks and for us, and then to make sure uh, we're racing along the way to get there and back. So it's, um, you know, we restructured the way the point, you know, last year we, we implemented a new uh, bonus structure that was paid on a monthly basis. Really didn't get as much credit for it in the marketplace and for the racers. So we just restructured. Everybody understands point funds. Everybody understands when they get paid at the end of the year. Everybody understands uh, the, the necessities of these full-time teams going up and down the road. So we did a fixed monthly stipend for the to replace the tow money. So it takes some of the variability out. If we rain, you're still getting paid tow money on some different things. Uh, and then the, the we rolled the bonus money into the point fund, and we, we created a fixed structure for that, whether we rain out or not. So if we run 45 of 50, uh, the, the money is fixed, and, and it's uh, it's really good. for And and we're back to, you know, we're in a, we're in a in a very nice model for World Racing Group, for all of our full-time teams, and for our fans, so that they know what they're going to get when they come to a World of Outlaws Late Model show. And and that's what we need to do in this time when there's a lot of wild, wild west and craziness and all that other stuff that we need to let that sort out a little bit. And we're going to stick to what we do good and, and do that, and we'll be fine on the other side. When we look at the sprint cars, World of Outlaws, NOS Energy Drink Sprint Cars, 87 dates. Boy, when I look at this calendar, though, it is dotted by a lot of big money events. Some of your partners, I know Todd Quaring, we've talked about Todd up at Houston's and Jackson, up at Knoxville with a couple of dates now. Um, uh, some really big marquee dates showing up on that schedule. That sprint car schedule has gotten rich, that's for sure. It, it definitely has. You know, people forget we lost 16 races in the first half of the season last year, so we only completed 72 some of races. So we have kind of forget about all that. But when you, if we were to get all those races in. We've scheduled them all. We, we, we modified some things this year with the calendar, but the, 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 the purses and the prize money you're seeing now is a progression over the last four or five years of investing in some of those bigger events uh, with the World of Outlaws and with the, the partner tracks across the country to create those bigger marquees, and, and, and uh, they're really starting to make their mark now. And Todd's stepping up his game. Obviously, we have the big shows at Eldora, at Knoxville, Williams Grove, uh, but every, everybody's stepping up, and it's, a, it's really a joint effort to try to make that work and uh, it's 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 really in a neat place that the sprint cars are in right now and everybody wants a little piece I understand that so you got you got to <laughs> deal with that too as, as you as you're successful so you know just trying to make sure we manage that too last thing I want is to confuse race fans and figure out you know have them have to worry about where they're going to see who there's who's racing so uh, but the world of outlaws brand is is carrying that through and and it's a, again a, a progression on a long-term path I think is good for everybody and and from everybody I've talked to manufacturers to the like they can't keep up with what we're doing now so the racing is lots of cars and lots of um, parts being bought and lots of uh, tickets and lots of people in the grandstands that's that life is good like I said it's it's, it's not a bad place to be you just got to figure out how again we're probably going to do a little sorting out of the bonus program again did we, we put out seven thousand dollars a night to the full-time teams for more racing group paid directly to the teams and really didn't get a lot of credit for that last last year and it was rain dependent too. So when we lost, you know, I, I projected 16 more $7,000 payments to the to the platinum teams. That didn't really work out when we rained out. So we restructured that to make a fixed program for the end of the year too, and uh, make them some. Make, we'll make all that public uh, later on today and or tomorrow morning, and uh, and we'll set out on our course, and we're going to be in great shape. Uh, so I'm pretty happy about that too. Finally, all of this all goes under the Dirt Vision umbrella. Whether you want the the, the big block modifieds, the, the 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 dirt car racing, the late models, the sprint cars. How are things at Dirt Vision? New ideas, new projects. How are things rolling along with Dirt Vision as we look toward 2023? Yeah, no, it's uh, Dirt Vision is an incredible awareness tool for us and a, and a nice revenue source, obviously. So uh, we've grown from 17 races, not a, you know five years ago, a lot, you know, to, to uh, 450 something this past year, and we have a lot of demand for tracks that want to be on the Dirt Vision network, and that's really the way we're approaching it now. We're actually having to, you know, there are tracks that want to be on Dirt Vision, and that's a great, great thing. 
because we do take a different approach. We, we promote, we want to make sure that people come to the racetrack. So everything we're doing on Dirt Vision is to get somebody, you know, to encourage them to come out to the racetrack. And when you can't, we want you to watch. But we really want you to come out to the racetrack. So Dirt Vision is spectacular. It's kind of got a, you know, got a bull by the tail and it's kind of dragging you a little bit here and there. But it's, but it's a great, it's a great thing to have, you know, again, we've talked about a little bit, you know, uh, for all those years we tried to adapt our product to live TV. And now we have our product, which is spectacular. All of the racing is spectacular. And now we can adapt live TV to it and bring it in distribution ways that people never thought possible. So not only at the track, on your phone, in the video board, at home, on the on the bar uh, TV, it's all, all, all great stuff. And now it's just figuring out how to, to create the best possible thing for everybody. Really, really neat stuff, that's for sure. During World Finals, I went over to your studio. Dave Reef was doing a watch party. I got a chance to hang out over there, and I just love the content that's out there, whether it's the racing action or a bunch of guys sitting around watching the racing, and then and then the content some of your drivers are producing as well. Lots of neat stuff off there. Brian, it's always a pleasure. We appreciate you dropping by the RE booth here at PRI. Well, thank you so much for having us. Thank you for spreading the word. RE's been a, a great partner, an integral part of all of our operations, and we really appreciate what RE does for us and the sport. And uh, to be here on the floor to see all the energy and activity, uh, it, it just re, it, you know, it energizes me to, to to do better and do the best we can for everybody out there, all the all the world of outlaws, which is, you know, the our team, the teams, the racers, the fans, everybody is the world of outlaws and dirt car family, and and make it better. And the floor shows there's a lot of energy and a lot of excitement for 2023. Energy Excitement 2023. That's Brian Carter, the CEO of the World Racing Group, joining us here at the RE booth at PRI.